Okay, we got to talk about this. It seems that the Pixel 4 is going to require you to use gestures or some kind of thing to use the new Google Assistant. Hey there, friends on YouTube. My name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is Painfully Honest Tech. Tech so honest it hurts. And if this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back again. Now, let's discuss this. I guess... It's, it's been discovered that in an article from 9to5Google, it's been discovered that the Pixel 4 is going to require gesture-based navigation in order to use their fancy new Google Assistant that's built into the phone. And not only that, you're not going to be able to have a G Suite account active on the phone whatsoever in order to use this feature. What the heck is going on? If you're not familiar with G Suite, G Suite is like a business and education type uh, service that people can have projects or, you know, their email and just everything that is G Suite is in this kind of account and it's tied to your business or it's tied to your, uh, your school. Hundreds of thousands of people will not be able to use their G Suite account if they want to use this new Google Assistant. <laughs> what are, this is absolutely, without precedent, the most ridiculous thing that I've ever heard from a phone at launch. Let's look at the article that 9to5Google put out, and we'll just kind of walk through what we have to see here. Android uncovered a support document with a list of requirements for using the new Google Assistant on the Pixel 4. And among those requirements seems to be uh, using the gestures and uh, not having a G Suite account active on your phone, which is going to be a no-go for so many people. Uh, but the question was then, like, well, can't you still a activate the Google Assistant with squeezing or with the, you know, pressing the home button or something like that? And I guess the answer is yes. First, they came out and, and said, yes, you can still activate it that way. And then they came back and said, well, you can still activate it that way. But once you do, you still have to use gestures. When has there been a time in the tech world when you have been suddenly forced to use a new feature, whether you want to or not? if you buy this new phone. The first one that comes to mind is Face ID, of course, but Face ID is, I mean, yeah, I unlock my phone. It's not requiring me to disable services or not use services. Imagine if Apple said, you can use Face ID, but you can't be attached to iCloud while doing it. I, this is, I, I don't know what to say about this. There were already several things about the Google Pixel 4 that were questionable coming out of the gate. I mean, the battery size on both phones is a little small, <laughs> to say the least. There's no 4K 60 frames per second on the rear camera. There's no 4K whatsoever on the front camera. There's no headphones in the box. There's no adapter for headphones, nothing like that. They're gonna want you to buy their Pixel Buds, and now they want you to use this gesture navigation even if you don't want to. You wanna use their fancy new Google Assistant, you gotta use the gesture navigation. Now, maybe, maybe this is a big misunderstanding, but Google came out and, and said, well, no, no, you can, you can use it. And then they walked back and said, well, you can use it, but then you also still have to use the gestures. Who is gonna buy this phone? Who is going to buy this phone? There seem to be so many caveats, so many things that you have to sort of work your way around in order to use the Pixel 4 that I can't imagine anybody going out and purchasing this phone and then just walking into it without any problems. Now, the Pixel line is supposed to be the simplest version of Android, the version of Android that will give you the least problems, the most sort of iPhone-like experience. But this kind of sounds like Google is making it harder to use the phone than it really needs to be. And I can't say that that's a very good business strategy. I mean, tell me what you think down in the comments. Do you think it's ridiculous that pixels are going to require you to use gestures? Do you think it's ridiculous that for those of us who have G Suite for work or school are not going to be able to attach those accounts to our phone in order to use the Google Assistant? I mean, how is this a thing? How is this a thing? Or maybe maybe it makes total sense to you. You can let me know down in the comments because I am just completely confused. 
at this point. It seems like Google just wants the phone to fail. And I can't understand why they would want that. This was the year that we're supposed to like knock it out of the park. And um, right now it's a grounder in the dirt that's like right in front of home plate. It's not doing anything. It's hurting itself by existing. Anyway, again, let me know what you think down in the comments because I think this is kind of bizarre. Uh, I, I can't explain it. I can't explain it. Maybe you can explain it to me. Thanks once again for being here. If this was your first time and you want to come back, you like, bell, subscribe, notify, blah, 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 all that stuff down in, in here. If you've been here before and you want to become a more active member of the Painfully Honest Tech community, you can join the channel, get a membership, and you get all kinds of things like fancy hats when you're in, in chat on live streams, and as well as uh, other perks that are available per level. Go down there, hit that button, check out what we're offering, and that, uh, maybe you could be a member of the, uh, the, the Wizard Squad. Once again, my name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is Painfully Honest Tech! Tech so honest it hurts. Until the next time, I'm out.